Until we the rip is fine. Time, I need my It's the NBA on 2K Sport. Homestead's our worst fears. He's going to have to watch from the sideline, and I'm not sure how long he's going to be out. Well, we'll see. I mean, as his rehab progresses, we'll get a better idea of that. But it has to be a very emotional time for him right now, Clark. You know, as a player, you grit your teeth when you're uh, getting that kind of a diagnosis, but it's a tough fate to accept. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Batum is out there with Mirza Toledovich. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here's Batum. Six to shoot. Lillard moves back up. And it's Lopez laying it in. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Howard with a screen on Lillard. Here's Mr. Moves, covered by Lillard. Here's Mr. Moves on the mark with the 15-footer. Mr. Moves got his second basket of the night. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. And Portland with the ball. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent. But, hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. And so here is Houston. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And one way to nullify a home court advantage like they did that night, Kevin, light it up from the three-point line. Nothing is more demoralizing to a home crowd. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, that was the great equalizer. Their perimeter play definitely took them over the top. So it's Portland now following the score by Houston. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Jones with the screen on Batum. Here's Mr. Moves. No luck. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Outside Batum. Lillard attacking. Here's Lopez. Shot is off. And Houston the other way now. They traveled to Portland last time they faced the Trailblazers and came away with the win. Well, and they got the better of them that game, I thought, by forcing turnovers. Their defense was terrific, and they were able to get out in transition and get some easy hoops. Portland trailing here. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Look at the numbers for him on the line uh, this year. 88% on the season. Impressive number. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. The Trailblazers have gone two for four from the field so far today. He dishes it to Toledovich. Here's McCollum. Right through the D for the layup. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a, a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, um, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Here's Mr. Moves. 11 points for him in that last game against Brooklyn. Jones with the screen on Lillard. Six on the shot clock. Mr. Moves passes to a reason. Out of bounds, Portland takes possession. That sent it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Terry Stotts. DB? A lot of his strategy is focused on Dwight Howard, and rightly so. He said, we know Dwight can do it all, and it is going to take a five-man effort to slow him down. He can finish, block shots, rebound. The guy is almost seven feet of pure muscle, and there is just no way to handle him one-on-one. -on -one. If there is a way, the NBA hasn't discovered it yet. Always great to hear from you, Doris. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. No good for Mr. Moves. Portland leading. McCollum kicks to Lopez. And there's the feed to McCollum. The pass to Toledovich. To the middle. 
and it's Daniels with the rebound. Rockets have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. One thirty-nine left to play here in the first. Howard with a screen on Lillard. Mr. Moves passes to Howard. Here's Mr. Moves at six. Ariza with the bucket. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. We've got one eighteen left in the first. on the floor. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Trailblazers trail by six on the floor for Portland. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Myers Leonard is out there with Darrell Wright. And it's Crab in at the small forward position. And now here are a set of teams that have helped their opponents to very few points in the second half of the season. The Rockets number one. You know what, Kevin? The All-Star game isn't known as a display of great defense, but something or someone rubbed off on these guys since the break. They've been fantastic on defense lately. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Here's Mr. Moves. Got it. Good job in the low post. Mr. Moves got the lead up to six now for the Rockets. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. McCollum with the ball. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Shot from 12. Off the left rim and up. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. A 17-footer. And again, another one in from Mr. Moves. And it's an eight-point rocket lead. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Lillard attacking to the right side. Here's Lopez. That's good. Houston leading by six. Here's Mr. Moves. He's got ten. To the middle. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. McCollum with the screen for Lillard. Second shot opportunity, and Lopez with the nice bucket inside. Lopez has got six. Rockets have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Here's Mr. Moves, covered by Lillard. Mr. Moves passes to Jones. Here's Mr. Moves. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on him. Mirza Toledovic has checked in for Portland. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. And blocked by Lopez. Now Lillard. A 35-point game for him in the win against Phoenix. 158 left here in the second. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. See the stat sheet here on Damian Lillard. He's been something special in the second half of the season, that's for sure. Some serious stats right here. First in scoring, third in assists, and his three-point field goal accuracy has been really impressive. He's ranked in the top 15. And, Steve, we really can't gloss over his ranking as the top scorer in the NBA. I mean, he's the one guy you don't want to see coming out of the opposing locker room. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. And stolen by Wright. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Trailblazers trail by three. Lillard, right side, the three, and the shot is good. 
Lillard's got 13 points. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was pretty good. Lillard again missing. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Here's Mr. Moves. He's got 14. On the basket by Jones. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. Lillard attacking. Kicks it to Lopez. That's good. The Houston lead is cut back down to two points on the basket from Damian Lillard. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Howard with a screen on Lillard. Ring shot on the way. And again, the basket from Mr. Moves. Mr. Moves has got 10 points in the quarter. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. And Lillard gets to right. Here is Lillard. Here's Lopez. And it's yeah, wow, he nails the buzzer, Peter. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Rocket. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for Mr. Moves. 16 points, and he's created a lot of chances for his teammates also. And some of these passes have been absolutely beautiful, Clark. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. So on the floor for Houston. Terrence Jones is down low with Howard. Then it's Trevor Ariza. Then there's Mr. Moves. And it's Daniels in at the two. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Mr. Moves in that last game against the Nets really lit it up. He had 11 points and added a couple of rebounds with that. His performance, just another outstanding outing that has become more and more common for him. All right, Doris. Well, guys, coming off a performance like that has got to have him supremely confident right now. Well, that never seems to be a problem <laughs> for him. But you're right, Kevin. He has to be feeling at the top of his game right now. Well, when you play well, it feeds confidence. And when you prepare to play well and it works out that way, it does add another level of confidence to your next game. But two, this is to Lillard. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. It's good. This game is all even. Lillard's got the first points of the second half here for the Trailblazers. Ariza outside. They get it back. Howard kicks it out to Ariza. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Six points for Trevor Ariza. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. And the Rockets making a change here. Tolliver's checked in. And here's a look at some of the most multi-dimensional players in the NBA. Not only can they pass, they can fill it up. The highest scoring point guards this season. And you look at Lillard leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And of course, Mr. Moves right on his tail. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Lillard's got four points this quarter. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Feeds it to Daniels. Lopez with the steal. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. Let's a floater go. And Lillard kicks to Toledovic. Lillard, the pass to Lopez for the lead. And Portland again with the bucket. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Here's McCollum. Five points in the game. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. That's the way to shoot the rock. 
substitutions here. One thirty-five left in the third. Here's Cram. Right wing. Passes it to Toledovic. Clock at six. Picked his pocket. Here's Kanan. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the score. Ariza with it. Now right defender. Now here's Ellington. Pass to Tolliver. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the way. Now it's a three-point Houston lead. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Terrence Jones has checked in for Houston. Mr. Move comes in for Wayne Ellington. And Portland with a change here, too. Lopez has checked in. I'll tell you what, the first half may have been a little slow, but both clubs really picking up the intensity here in the second. I'll say that's for sure. I mean, things have really ramped up here. Here's Kanan. Right now averaging five, and it's Ariza in the corner. And another three for Houston. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. So it's Portland now. Trailing by four. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Portland may have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. That free throw good from Barton. And Portland making a change here. All three throws good from Barton. Here's Mr. Moves. 18 points for him. With one on the clock. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. And a great show through three quarters. As we enter the fourth, who will carry the day? Houston on top, leading by four. We'll get right. a chance to show you our assist of the game and it's presented as always by State Farm. It was a beautiful pass, nice intelligent basketball, the execution was perfect and that pass set up the open three. Oh, with that last title you could see the coach was addressing how they were going to make a tactical adjustment. And after the coach does something like that it's on the players now to lock in and follow the lead and execute. If they don't then the coach will put them on the pot. And on the floor for Portland here on the fourth. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Drell Wright is out there with Batum, and it's Lopez in at the five down low. Trailblazers trail by seven. Lillard outside. Here's McCollum. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got his third rebound tonight. And stolen by Lillard. One minute now into this fourth quarter, and the foul called on Mr. Moves. That's his first foul, Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Houston. Lillard attacking. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut to just five on the basket from Lopez. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. Screen by Howard. Here's Mr. Moves. That short off the rim. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with him. Batum dishes to Lillard. Here's Mr. Moves. Covered by Lillard. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. 
And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And one other thing I would add is the mid-range game has been really impressive. I mean, they are a great touch on some of those 15, 17 footers. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened in on what Terry Stotts had to say in his huddle. They're getting out shot from the perimeter. He told them, we've got to close out faster on the outside shooters. These threes are killing us. Kevin, can they tighten their D? Mr. Moves. Portland grabs the miss. Wright's got six rebounds now in the game. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. Here's Lopez, and he drops in the layup off the glass. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Here's until Edovich has checked in for right. Here's Mr. Moves. Hits it from three-point range. Mr. Moves got ten points here in the second half. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Batum, good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Seven points for Batum. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Mr. Moves, covered by Lillard. Lillard comes with the double team. Daniels passes to Mr. Moves. Portland grabs the miss. Lopez has got rebound number eight now on the night. McCollum with the ball, working on Tolliver, off target with his three. Rockets leading by five. Here's Mr. Moves, and again it's the Rockets from deep. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. Just threes raining in from everywhere. Yeah, work that perimeter, work it good, and they might as well milk it while they're hot. McCollum kicks to Lillard. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Lillard's got 23. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Here's Mr. Moves. Defended by Batum. Mr. Moves passes to Daniels. And good on the basket. Hook it. And the Rockets lead by eight. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Trailblazers have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. The dish to Lillard. Fires the three. Can't get it to go. And it's Houston the other way. Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up empty. You know, when the shot's not there for you, you've just got to recognize it move the ball on. Yeah, I think he had tunnel vision right there. His only thought was to shoot it, no matter what else was going on. And he gets it to go. Another good look there, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. Rockets leading by five. Jones with the screen on Lillard. He drops the first one and that increases their lead to six. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Anthony Tolliver. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven point game. Free throws go down and the lead goes up. Batum against Ariza. Lillard dishes to Batum. McCollum with the ball. Lillard on top. Four on the shot clock. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Well, I like the way he's turned the heat up here in the fourth. I mean, that makes him an 80% shooter so far in the quarter. There's a screen. Here's Mr. Moves, and he lays it straight in. Mr. Moves got 33 points. 
You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Lillard attacking. Lillard has been playing really well. 28 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Nice work there. And this is a point in the game where if you've got a chance to close the gap, you've got to do it. Here's Mr. Moves, and down it goes, jamming that one home. And they're getting that lead way up there now. I mean, it should be a stroll to the final whistle from here. Yeah, this late in the game, it would be almost impossible for them to blow a lead like this. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Got a piece of it. Now Batum. Here's Toledovich. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Misses the shot. So we see the rocket. Okay, let's go to the gentleman in the front. Troy? You guys are rolling. Can you keep it up? We'll see, man. I mean, we don't really think about the results. We just go through the process. We take care of our business, and then I guess the street can handle itself. Next question. Okay, let's hear what Mr. Thomas has to say. Jeff? You must be frustrated with all those mistakes out there tonight. What do you got to do to limit those next time out? It is very frustrating. I just got to get better. It's unacceptable how much I turned the ball over tonight. I mean, all I can do is get back to work and get better, man. That's it. You, sir? What does it mean to you to clinch a playoff berth? It means that we're in the discussion and we got a chance. And what would you say to the skeptics who think you don't have a real chance? Like me. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Even if they have no clue what they're talking about. We're done here, folks. Thanks. <laughs>